I was sitting in my architecture design class when the teacher assigned us to draw some wall sections. Immediately I thought on you and decided to record my screen to show you my tips and tricks on how to draw wall sections in AutoCAD. Let's do this! Hello AutoCAD designer! Last week we created this awesome lazy viewport command to help you save some time creating viewports. Today let's talk about wall sections. So to start my wall section for my school project, I wanted to create a brand new drawing but you know here are here is the lazy architecto channel so I wanted to save some time and I just opened it a last project for my class also and I started from there why because if you start a brand new project you have to set up your units and so on so it's a waste of time so why not start from an old project or drawing right so that way you have your settings ready so here I had a wall section image or a screenshot that I took from another program that I was working on on school this program was Revit so I dragged my image here on the AutoCAD model space and without any scale at all just to you know have a sense what I'm gonna draw and once I had this image here in model space I then uh, was ready to scale it to the correct dimension or size so I simply use the scale command and selecting from this point and I needed a reference so I, I used the R shortcut and then I clicked here on the base point and all the way up here to the next floor I knew it was 13 feet in distance so again to this other floor level so I clicked here like so and then once I had the reference I simply used 13 feet and to double check that I got the height correct I simply dimension it like so and then 13 feet up and I knew this was scaled correctly after this I noticed the dimension was very very tiny so to fix this I went to the paper space to create a new layout so, so I can check the size of my dimensions so instead of right clicking and creating a new layout I simply hold the control keyboard and drag it to the side to copy a new layout then then I double click on my viewport to get inside and arrange it like so so the scale that I used was I first tried the half scale and it was too big so I then went for the 3 8 of an inch and that looked good to me so once I had that I knew that 3 8 of an inch was the scale for this specific wall section I could then fix the size for my dimensions how? well using the dim scale system variable so in order to use the dim scale system variable you will need a chart like this but let me give you a trick to scale your dimensions without this chart 
So to do this, we know that the paper space or viewport scale is 3 8 of an inch. So what we're going to do here is using the calc or calculator by, by using this character and using CAL for calculator and pressing enter and you have this expression uh, message so instead of using three eights we're gonna invert that and do eight threes and we're gonna multiply this by 12 once we do that we can see here on the command line that we got 32 and if we go back to our chart we can see that 32 is the scale factor for 3 eighths of an inch so now if we go back to the model space in AutoCAD and start a dimension or create a dimension we're gonna see that the size of our dimension will come in the correct size based on our viewport scale so all I had to do here at this point was using the match property command to change the size of my other dimension so again here in paper space that's the correct size for my dimension based on my dim scale and my scale chart so at this point I could just start drawing you know the wall section using lines but I didn't want to waste time so I used a useful website to find uh, wall details and this is a very useful website that uh, many professionals um, are referencing and here I knew my wall section is going to be a masonry so I started looking for again um, masonry wall details and I found this one over here the one that says base of wall detail so I open it and I found this useful wall detail that I could use for the base of my wall section again um, this was for a school project so if I had to do this at the office where I work definitely I'll use um, other wall sections that people already drew but for this school project I wanted to do it this way so you can have a uh, another idea of how to draw wall sections so basically this is the 3d version and the 2d version is this one over here and what i did was simply download this pdf so i could uh, use it in autocad so back in autocad we needed to insert this pdf over here so i simply dragged it to model space and for the page number of course it's gonna be one because it's only a pdf of one page so at this point i simply inserted it without thinking on any scale at all and what happened is that once this pdf is inserted the size of this pdf would be wrong because we just we just inserted it without even thinking on its size so just to verify that this is the wrong size i dimension it um i dimension it one of the cmu blocks so i dimension it this to this other point and was around a foot or more than a foot so i knew this was wrong because the cmu block is around eight inches let me show you a trick that i used using the scale 
three inches equals a foot to have it to the correct size so again simply I clicked and drag it to model space and following the command line that says scale factor and following the chart that I showed you before which at 3 inches equals a foot the scale factor is 4 so once I used that factor for the scale and used the zero for my rotation I noticed immediately the difference in height compared to the previous PDF so just to double check that I got this PDF to the correct size I used the CMU block again to dimension and yes it was around 8 inches 7 and 5 8 inches to be exactly which was the correct size for this CMU block so this is a trick that you can use to have always your PDF inserted in the correct size again just to double check I used this one foot four inches dimension and yes it was correct I could get rid of this tiny one now and I was ready to convert this PDF with my next trick to single AutoCAD lines so before I changed to my workspace where I have some custom tools that we created together on the channel and I'm gonna use this PDF to DWG command that convert PDF to AutoCAD lines with a single click and what I noticed was some of the text or most of them were coming in weird objects like hatches, lines, solids and so on but they weren't actually text objects so I tried a couple of techniques to see uh, if I could fix this text and one of the first tricks I used was again these are hatches and solids as you can see was the trick was to go to my ribbon and use the recognize shx text command and apply it to these sentences and let AutoCAD do its thing um, let's give it a couple of seconds and what happened was that none of the geometry was converted to text which was a shame but I tried it a second trick or alternative which was changing the recognition settings specifically the threshold and I put it down to around 40 and try it again to this same text and this time Oruka recognizes a couple of text for instance the O but that wasn't enough from my perspective it was a waste of time and here in the laser architecto we are all about saving time and not wasting time so I let's let's see if AutoCAD can you know fix this issue maybe on the next update but for these wall sections I thought it would be easier to just recreate the text or notes so I started doing that using the text command and with this text comes the next trick here in AutoCAD which is how to get the size correctly for your text so for this let me quickly open my quick properties palette 
by clicking here so I'm gonna move it right here and just let's double check the viewport on our paper space let me just double check the viewport scale again okay it's 3 8 of an inch so we're gonna use the chart again and at 3 8 of an inch we can see that our notes it's gonna be 3 inches so if we go back here and change the height of our text to 3 inches this would be the correct size for this specific wall section for the viewport scale that we are using so oops let me change my property of my quick property to static so it doesn't move <laughs> um, so again this is the correct size for this specific wall section according to the viewport scale that I'm using and then I started adding some letters to my notes and keep adding more notes you know to finish this wall section insulation and so on and at this point I needed to clean up this wall detail so I created a copy to the site and cross it out so I don't get confused and started removing some of these notes that I didn't need it anymore and after this I was ready to move this wall detail to its correct location And I moved it over here like so once I did that oops AutoCAD showed uh, an issue a graphic issue basically I used the draw order command to send the image to the back with its shortcut DR and then I regenerated my drawing like so concrete slab I was ready to stretch it to fit my drawing or my wall section in this case so simply using the stretch command for this insulation I'll fix this with a hatch trick later but before that I kept stretching in this case the foundation wall all the way down like so at this point the only weird things were these um, arrowheads that were on this wall section so I needed to remove them and to do this quickly I used a couple of techniques the first one was use the select similar command however AutoCAD selected around 274 objects that were solid on this drawing so I didn't want to do that and I used a custom command that we created on our channel the isolate entity so once I selected one of these solids I isolate them and I could easily erase them from my wall detail so to put things back I simply used the an isolate entities custom command and again the graphics issue of AutoCAD showing the image on top of my drawing I used the draw order and the regenerate command to fix this and hey I'll have to stop here because this video is too long already but next week we'll finish this wall section using more tricks and a technique that involves using a free program to generate your wall sections even faster. So turn your bell notification on because you won't want to miss that.